Hey there, I am Sherry Samuels, the voice coach, and this is your thought for the week. Have you ever had one of those situations where you were excited about something and you were like, oh, I'm going after this, whether it's a job or, you know, a, a new opportunity, a relationship, whatever, I'm going after this and I'm excited about it. And then you get a no. And so then you feel the disappointment of the no. But what if you decided that that no wasn't just a no and it's done, but what if you decided that it was a not yet? There was a, a project that I was working on um, for several months actually, and it was something that I really want, but it's, I got a no. I sent the email and I was excited about it and I'm like, what are they gonna say? And when I got the no, initially I wanted to be disappointed, but then I decided it's not a no, it's a not yet. There are some things that I can do differently. There are some ways that I can tr tweak this proposal, this opportunity to make it more appealing, but it's a not yet because this is something that I want. It's something that I'm really passionate and excited about. When we decide that the things that we're passionate and excited about are things that we really deserve and we really want to create in our lives, we can turn anything into a not yet. We may have a vision for what we want it to be or how it's going to be, but the thing is, we have to decide, you know what, it's not a matter of the how, how we're gonna get there, it's a matter of me creating the vision and saying, you know what, I'm gonna keep moving forward anyway. With every no, we can change that into a not yet. We can make it our own. I hope you have a great week and I hope you're turning things this week that you may want that feel like no's into not yet's. Because guess what? You can create whatever you want in your life. I hope you have a great week. You can always hear more from me on my website, sherrysamuels.com and all over social media.